What is up everybody? It is that one guy here and today I wanted to talk pretty quickly with you guys about something that is, is also the only something that happens one time I think and that's that first ride after you've taken your motorcycle safety course you've gotten your new bike it's not the bike that you learned on sometimes it might be a little bit different differently situated than the bike that you learned how to ride on so I just want to give you guys a few quick tips on what to expect on your first ride after you've taken your motorcycle safety course. Now the first thing you want to do is the same thing that you do at your motorcycle safety course and that is to just get a feel of your bike. I'm going to turn my bike off here for a second just to uh, to get into this and that's to sit on the bike, feel the weight of it and to really just get to know uh, your, how the feel, how you're situated, your riding position on, the, on your new motorcycle, the weight of it. Um, when it stops, right, because this is something that um, can be a little bit intimidating, if, especially if you on end up on a bigger bike than the one that you learned on, is if you end up on a bigger bike that you learned on, um, just the weight of it backing it into a spot or uh, just walking it uh, somewhere, uh, you know, if you run out of gas or something, is to know your bike really well, to know where your controls are, uh, your turn signals, your hazards, all those things, just like you would on a new car, but this is your first time I'm on a bike, so it's a little bit more intimidating. So. I've gotten the, the feel of the bike here. I know where all my controls are. Um, I always like to pull the, the clutch lever in, no matter if, I'm in, if I know I'm in neutral or not, just because, for me, it's just a safety thing. Um, so I've got the bike in neutral. I've got the clutch in. Start it up. And I'm just going to do those things that you did on your first time on your motorcycle uh, in the motorcycle safety class, which is to let the clutch out to feel it engage. I'm not going to give it any gas at all. Uh, actually, I will give it a little bit of gas, but I'm just going to feel uh, where the clutch engages on my bike, right? Um, and for me, it's it's pretty right in the middle of, of where uh, my clutch lets out. It's right in the middle. So that's kind of a nice thing for me, um, even though this isn't my first time on my bike. But so then I'm going to walk it forward here with just a little bit of gas. I'm just going to walk it forward, and then I'm going let it, to let it roll back a little bit. And all these time I'm 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 tiptoeing here, my bike forward and back just to get a feel, so I know. Right? Uh, again, I'm gonna move forward a little bit, and then again th this last time here I'm gonna give it a little more gas, and we're just gonna get going. So the other thing you want to do uh, here is, I'm on a road here that's not that busy. Uh, really the last thing you want to do is put yourself in a situation where you're not super comfortable on your bike yet but you're on a busy road and there's cars coming and that's just one more factor that you have to consider on your first ride and really that's not something you want to do i would also say maybe not do it in a parking lot but get right yourself right into the road because you want to get really comfortable with the road as fast as you can but again not on a not so busy road maybe not on a country road either where the speed limit's a little much and someone can come up on you really fast so just a neighborhood probably is the best way to do it if you feel safer on a neighborhood that doesn't have many cars on the street that's probably a good idea too so you don't have that to worry about hitting a parked car if that's something you're worried about so again we're just going to roll out here we're going to go out it's a slow speed just giving it a little bit of gas and i'm not going to go much faster than we did in the class which i think the fastest i got up in class was 35 miles an hour um, I'm going to test out my turn signals here and make sure that I'm comfortable uh, with turning again. So I'm just going to make a bunch of turns here, make sure my turn signal's on. And we'll get this one, there's no turning signal required here, but I'm going to do it anyway just to get practice. And the turn signal on, and here I go. Again, I'm not going much faster than we would have in the course. Um, just reminding yourself of all of the things that you learned in your class, which was to look into your turns, look where you're going, don't look at the road in front of you, but you always want to look where you want your bike to go. Um, once you get a little more comfortable with the speed, you know the controls, uh, then you can start thinking, okay, I'm getting a little more comfortable, um, I'm ready to go out, but again, I wouldn't go straight out to uh, like a four lane road or really busy road, um, but just take yourself out and know, map yourself a little route so that you know, okay, I'm going to go through this neighborhood. I'm going to practice my turns a little bit. Um, I'm not concerned about hitting any of these cars. Again, if you want to put yourself in a neighborhood that has fewer cars, that's one less thing to worry about. Um, 
but again I'm, I haven't even gotten out of first gear here and that for me again shifting was something that I had to kind of re familiar re get myself familiar with again was shifting because again it's not something that's uh you know that's super intuitive if you've driven a stick shift I guess it's a little more intuitive for you because because uh you know clutch and shift uh you got to push in the clutch and then you can shift so yeah there we go shift and again uh something that i forgot a little bit about when i first started riding was to not let your your uh, clutch out all at once um and because i've driven a manual transmission a lot you know sometimes when i'm dr driving fast i'll just let the clutch out all at once instead of letting it out slowly but definitely on your first ride, you're going to want to let the clutch out slowly uh, because you don't want, especially if you've bought, bought, your, if you've bought yourself, uh, you know, a really quick uh, sport bike that gives you a lot of torque there right as you let out the clutch. Um, so just let it out slowly. You want to hear that little rumble and then you're, um, then you get all the power, right? So here I'm on a little bit, a road that I can go a little bit faster on, getting more familiar with my new bike and uh more familiar with the controls with shifting um i don't ne i didn't necessarily had to shift into third gear there but it's just going to be something i can practice and if your bike's comfortable with the lower lower uh the higher gears and um, even at lower speeds and then downshift so that i don't have to use all my brake looking into the turn again these are all just the things that you practice um throughout the the, the class that you took that was probably all day one day and then once you're done if you haven't gotten a bike really quickly these are things that you've got to remember and all at once so again i'm just working my way up here to a little bit busier of a road practicing my shifting and once you're comfortable uh then you can get out onto these roads like this road here is a 40 mile an hour uh, max speed limit again if you're a little gung-ho and you and you uh and you just want to get out there onto the to the really fast roads onto the highway uh i would say you know it, where your comfortability level is, level is it all depends on yourself um so if you're ready to get on the highway go ahead and do it but for me again i'm just going to stick to these roads where i can go a little bit faster i can go 40 miles an hour here on this road and so i'm going to go 40 maybe it'll go up a little bit faster uh and make make more shifts and for me i'm one of those guys where once it gets comfortable you know then I'm ready to go and I and then I want to start testing the limits of what I can do so uh, this road actually here turns into a little bit someplace we can go a little bit faster than 40 miles an hour so we're gonna hit that up and then we'll end up on the on the highway and uh, that's I mean that's really what, what we're all working up to right is to be able to go on the highway and open it up a lot um, for me the, the highway can be safer at times just because the back roads uh, especially here in California some of them are really terrible terribly maintained so you got potholes and bumps and stuff and to me if you I, the, when i want to open it up i'll get on the highway because uh, i know that there will be fewer potholes i know i've lived in in michigan uh at, for one part of my life and the the highway is just as terrible as the back roads in michigan so again depending on your region or where you live uh, what country what, what state whatever it might be uh you're just going to want to feel it out. Drive it, drive the roads that you want to ride in your car and see how how it's going to be. Because again, I can't stress enough uh, how how much you just want to be comfortable and feel safe in what you're doing. Uh, the last thing you want to do is get out uh, on these roads and be nervous about what you're doing and be nervous about shifting and be nervous about turning, be nervous about getting your bike up past 40 45 50 miles an hour all these things you want to work your way up to unless like i said unless you're one of those people that just um uh, and i was kind of one of those people where once i got used to shifting and turning uh, i i wanted to test my limits but again <laughs> when i got my license i was i was uh i think i just turned 30 and so you know i was a little bit more uh a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more you know probably overly confident at that age than i am now now i would probably be more careful and especially now i mean before my first bike was a yamaha radian it was a 1985 i think i spent like 1500 dollars on it and i wasn't super worried about you know dropping my bike or, or having something bad happen to it so again it's all relative if you bought your first bike 
and it was a Harley Davidson, you know, and you, you spent a lot of money on it, you're going to be a lot more careful than I was on my first bike. So again, uh, we're going to get up into a road here that we can go a little bit faster on and uh, uh, we can get a better feel. So letting the clutch out slowly. Some bumps there. And really, you're just going to, on your first ride, you're just re-familiarizing yourself with everything that you learned in your class, how to take on uh, when there's an obstacle in the road, uh, when, you, you know, making sharp turns, uh, accelerating once you're getting out of the turn and slowing down into the turn. Uh, all of these things are things that you want to be thinking about and practicing on your first ride again. Um, I started off on a, on a residential road. I made my way out here to this uh, this road that we, we can go a little bit faster on. And again, it says 40 miles an hour. Um, but back when I was younger, <laughs> in my younger days, uh, this is like a, a road with just a bunch of warehouses on it. And it used to be 50, 55, I think, out here. So we'll just go a little bit faster here. I'm going to raise my butt up off the seat here to go over those uh, train tracks because that's uh, akin to an obstacle in the road. And... Uh, we're gonna make our way onto the highway. Five minutes later. We're gonna get on the freeway here. And like I was saying, for me, once I got on the freeway and, and did it once or twice, that was kind of, I kind of locked it in. I kind of was like, okay, yeah, you know, I can do I can do anything on my bike now. I'm, I'm confident and there's nothing that I'm not afraid to do on my bike anymore. Now, again, I'm not one of those guys that does wheelies or, or drives all crazy. Um, but again, if you like motorcycles and you ride one, you probably like speed. So uh, the, the freeway is kind of that place where you can go fast and it's okay. Check your blind spot. Guys, once you get on the freeway, again, your confidence is probably uh, pretty high and there's not a lot that you can do. So once you get on the freeway and you're comfortable with doing that, uh, you know, you're good to go. And you probably don't need my new rider tips anymore. No, no, no. Come back and see me. But guys, uh, this has been great. I hope this uh, video has been helpful helpful for you on your first ride after you've gotten your motorcycle license and you got your first bike. But that's all for me, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up down there. And if you're so inclined, hit the subscribe button, which I'll pop up right over here. I'll also throw up some links for you in this direction, and you can go straight to one of my other videos. Guys, if you're riding, be safe. And if you're not riding, get riding. It's that one guy, and I'm out.